Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray with me? Yes. Don't mind the distraction. We are about to enter into spiritual realm. Say my father, my father. My father, my father. Say my father, my father.
Lift up your hands. Close your eyes. Before I can three. Before I can three, one, two, three. I command every force that is holding you right now to leave you. In Jesus' name. Leave in the name of Jesus. Leave in the name of Jesus. You do what is spirit. Leave in the name of Jesus. Leave in the name of Jesus. Leave in the name of Jesus. Wherever God is not planted in His mind, as long as you are under this platform, Father, I destroy them completely. Fire, 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 Thank you. 
name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray. There are people here that are being tormented in their dreams in their night. Every spirit tormenting your life will give up in you today. Amen. I said they will leave you today. Amen. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father. Every spirit that torment my life. Every spirit that torment my life. Today, give up your ghost today. Begin to pray. Begin to declare. Say, Father, deliver me. 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 Every spirit that torment your life. It will break in your dreams. Father, will send you in your nighttime.
Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 The power to distribute favor. The power to distribute miracle. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Lord, as these hands are lifted, may God, may His angel, begin to drop favor on you. Between now and seven days, the last day of this month, of September to remember, those who have forgotten to favor you, they will begin to remember you. I said they will begin to remember you. I said they will begin to remember you. I said they will begin to remember you. 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 Every lost contact, lost connection, begin to receive that back right now. Every lost opportunity, begin to receive that right now. Begin to receive. Say, I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. Receive right now. Receive. 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 testimony to testify to you. Yeah. The enemy that trouble you, they have given up. Yeah. The Lord said to Moses, the Egyptian that you see before you will see the Lord. Yeah. Those enemies that torment you and trouble you, you will see them no more. Yeah. But in your dream, you will see them no more. Already, I said, it's before the time. You are free. He said, I am free. Let's say, you hand on your head and say, I am free. I am free from every work. I am free from the work of darkness. I am free. 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 Begin to say to yourself, I am free from poverty. I am free from suffering. I am free from sickness. I am free. I am free from the one I am free. I am free. I am free. Hallelujah. Amen. 
May God bless you all. Amen. Turn your Bible with me to the book of Hebrews. I'm going to preach in connection with where we read in our Bible with you. Before I read Hebrew 10, Hebrew chapter 10, verse 35 to 37, I want to read the book of James, chapter 5, verse 7. He said, Therefore be patient, my brethren, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer wait for the precious fruit of the earth, waiting patiently for it until it receives the early and the later rain. Praise the Lord. Until it receives the early and the later rain. Then let's go to the book of Hebrew. Hebrew 10, 35 to 37. He said, do not throw away your confidence. Do not throw away your what? Confidence. It holds a great reward. You need to persevere so that after you have done God's will, you will receive what he has promised. For in just a little while, he who is coming will come and will not delay. Praise the Lord. Actually, who is coming? I want you to put your head for them. Praise the Lord. He said, He who is coming will come without what? Delay. Hallelujah. I'm going to preach a message which I'm trying to be patient. Say, be patient. Talk someone by the side, be patient. Be patient. <laughs> Hallelujah. I observe from my study that because of impatience, many people lost directions. Many people could not achieve their end because of impatience. Because of impatience, many Because of impatience, and he said to the father, Give me 
proceed. Let me go my way. And he began the journey. And he couldn't fulfill the journey. Why? Because of impatience. But I like what happened at the end. He realized the mistake. After he realized the mistake, he got back to the Father. And the Father blessed him. The Father gave him even more than what he's supposed to get in the family. There is somebody here. I want you to hear and hear me well. You are waiting to be in vain. I say you are waiting so long will not be in vain. For God is preparing a table before you. God is preparing something bigger before you. You are going through big challenges because your miracle is too big. Because you carry a big destiny. That's the reason why you are going through big challenges. You carry a big destiny. Say so I carry a big destiny. I The Bible said the place we read that after you have done the will of God, you need to wait. You need to persevere. You need to wait. And why the person or what you are waiting for is delayed? The Bible said it may delay. But the person or the things you are waiting for will surely do what God push it down. Amen. Today, what is happening in our life? People are running here and there because of impatience. People have lost the place of patience. If God can be patient, tolerant with you, even in the midst of you doing all kinds of bad, bad things, He didn't kill you. God is a killer. He did not kill you. He still preserve you. He still show you mercy. Patiently waiting for you to return back. Why won't you have patience? Why are you not going to have a patience? When you know that your maker is also patient with you. Waiting patiently for you to return back to him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are key principles about patience. Number one, I want you to learn about patience. For you to be patient, you must stay focused to your ultimate goal before you receive. You must stay what? Focused. One of the key principles of patience is to remain focused. The moment that you are not focused, that's the moment the spirit of impatience comes in. So for you to maintain patience or the principles of patience, you must remain what? Focus. Only focus will make you to achieve your goal. That is why it's important for you to set a plan or set a goal. Our goal, every believer, our goal is the kingdom. We all are pursuing to make heaven. Heaven has become our goal. The same thing in our physical world or in our secular world. You set a goal. When you are entering the beginning of the year, you need to set a goal. This is what I'm going to achieve. But remember a road, a track that led to your Go. There are many challenges. There are many things that will bring distractions. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Talk like as we wanted to start. Choir was the first people that wanted to bring distractions of the power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need deliverance. Amen. Yeah. When Pastor Man from Blue Beach, people was hard living. I don't know what is chasing them up. When God is already arrived, Holy Spirit is already arrived to bless people. You will see this fashion will come from nowhere. Here is not a live band, though. Don't come and play live band for us, please. We are here to worship God and the true God. Here is not a place of entertainment. 
You are here to carry people along. No, after you minister, you go. That's a deception from the pit of hell, and it's going to end here today. Amen. It will happen again. It's a distraction of the spirit. In every achievement, or whatever you want to achieve, there's a goal that you need to pursue. And that goal needs patience. Say patience. Say the goal needs patience. That is why you see people wrestlers, even though they are attending competition and they are failing, yet they keep on encouraging themselves because their goal is that one day they will win. Somebody here, no matter how long you have tried, no matter how long you have failed, when I hear the word, you will win very soon. I say you will attend your prayer very soon. I say you will win very soon. I say you will testify very soon. I prophesy in the life. Oh, you want to bless this sister? I can use marks to divert her blessings. 
When you don't have patience, you are walking with Satan. Hallelujah. You are walking with who? Satan. Colossians 4 6. He said, Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Many have used mouth to chase away blessings in their life. There are ladies here. You have used your own man to chase away the man, man that God sent into your life. People that God sent into your life to put light into your destiny. The same thing applicable to some men. You have used your man to chase away women that God brought into your life in order to put light. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Proverbs 15, 1 to 2. He said, A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongues of the wise uses knowledge rightly, but the mouth of the fools pour forth foolishness. When you see a man or a woman with patience, when they talk, they talk softly. Their talk always garnished with respect. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why in the business world wise, when you want to put a sales boy or a sales girl or promoters, one of the key things they consider when you are going for interview, if this person can motivate or his mouth or her mouth can attract customers. Praise the Lord. Because that is the key of your job. How to do what? Attract customers. Most of people, you walk in shopping mall. When you are walking, there's how somebody will approach you, your attention will immediately go to the product. True or not? True. Because of the approach, because of the way the person presented himself or herself. That's why when you enter a flight or aircraft sometimes, if you are not traveled before or that's your first time or, or traveling, you see beautiful lady, they will come and smile at you and try to, you are thinking that they are trying to fall in love. No! No, 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 no. Some village will move, they will be finding hard, they will take collect phone number. Without knowing that is her job. She was hired for that. <laughs> she was hired for what? For that. That is where she worked and that is what she paid for. You may think, you know, why, why this person like me so much? Why is it that I'm not all the other people? Only me smiling at me. No! Some rough 
rough, impatient people. They would see how to come out of In this land, I saw 100% of patience in every angle. Hallelujah. They don't rush. They don't worry too much. Hallelujah. Amen. But sometimes we want to overwork. Overwork. Especially those who drive. Thank God I attended driving school. I know about the principle. Since I attended driving school, when I carried some of my friends to them, my brothers, Pastor, why are you driving like this? I went to Bible Ben and to driving school. Because if you go to driving school, you follow the principle. And what they use to test you, what they use to pass you, is to follow the principle. Whether you know how to drive your expert driver, you may be an expert driver, but you don't have the principle or the keys terms of driving. Praise the Lord, you will fail. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter how long you have been driving. If you if you have been driving since 20 years, you never go uh, uh, driving school, you will fail the test. I tell you. Because there are many signs you don't know. Where you're supposed to stop, you don't know how to stop. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> what am I trying to say? I am trying to make you understand that you should always be patient. Think before you talk. Don't use your speech to hurt me. Don't use your mouth to chase away. The good people that God built and surrounded you. There are people here, you have no friends. You have used your mouth to chase away friends in your life. There are people here, women cannot stay in your hand because of your mouth. There are men that talk like a parrot. They chase them away. Every woman loves a soft speech. Throw on a woman, throw on a woman. No woman like a man when one issue, he will begin to talk. Each is not any seven a.m. The issue will end seven a.m. When you always attend people with a soft speech, soft answer, it makes people to have more conversation with you, to attend to you more, to go along with you, to do things with you. People can like you because of the way you talk. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Am I speaking? Yes, sir. That's true. Number three, your time and your effort to God and to others. One of the key principles of patience is time and effort. Time and what? Effort. When you see a man that has patience, is a man that continues to put in effort. A man who continues to maintain the timing. A man who continues to give time. Give more space. There are people here you can easily give up. Because of impatience. Impatience is what result of selfishness. Colossians 3.12 It says, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, Put on a tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long suffering, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another. If anyone has a compliance against 
another, even as Christ forgive you, so you also must what? Must be. Hallelujah. Amen. You must bear one another. You live with some people in the house. It look as if that cat and rat, a big cat and dog living in the same house. There are people here, you are currently living in a flat and you don't talk with your own fellow human, human being inside the flat. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Both of you don't rapport and you are living in the same place. Too bad. How would you live and survive? Hallelujah. How can you live with enemy? Somebody you say is your enemy and you are still living with him. Meaning that your life is at stake. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You need to give more time and effort. Be patient with him. And be patient for the answering of the prayers that you have been waiting for. Number four, walk and conflict with others so that you will live peacefully. This is only can be done by what? By patient, walking and conflict. When you have issue with your brothers, go for settlement. Only patient can resort to that. Walk it out. Don't make people around you to conflict with you. Hallelujah. Whenever you have conflict with people, resolve it. If you go resolve with the person, the person says you don't want you, leave him. Go with him to do with him. Praise the Lord. That's how I do. If you say I offended you, or I noticed that maybe I hurt you one more or the other, I will go to you. If I apologize, or whatever, I try, and you say you don't want, or whatever, I leave you. God will do with you. I play my role. And I finish my part. The rest is between you and who? Oh. And that is the reason why the moment you carry grudge against somebody and that person has already settled with you and settled with God, the thing will begin to reflect into you. The more you carry the anger and the grudge, the more it reflects into your life, into your marriage, into your business, into your entire life. Because you are no more fighting with anybody, you are fighting with your spirit. The person you are fighting with is no more there. Because he has cleared his mind, he has cleared himself. He's no more there. You who is fighting, you are fighting yourself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Learn how to resolve conflict with others. Number five. Walk with God and follow Him with patience, as Christ set an example. Second Thessalonians three five, He said, "Now may the Lord direct your heart into the love of God and into the patience of Christ." Isaiah fourteen twenty nine to thirty one, He said, "He give power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increase strength. Even the youth shall faint." And be weary, and a young man shall utterly fall. But those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mark up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not be faint. Praise the Lord. God is a God that gives strength to the weak. He is God. That give us the power. The Bible says, Philippians 4 13 says, We can do all things through Christ that give you strength. Walk with God patiently. If you are a child of God, you must, be, you must be patient because that's what I told you before. That even God is said, He is so patient, even when you are committing sin, atrocity, you are doing all kinds of evil things. He still allowed his grace to carry you through. He didn't allow you to be destroyed. He still remained patient. Then why won't you be patient? Why won't you persevere? For Christ, he labored for you. He died for you. He persevered. He was patient. 
What are the negative consequences of impatience in our life? Number one, it leads you giving up on time and deviate you from pursuing your goal. Impatience leads you to give up eh, on time. That is why many people are giving up on time. They are pursuing God, they are pursuing one thing or the other, and if they have not seen any sign of the result, they will change the location or they will change again. And even though they change again, at the same time it's not working. They, they keep on changing, 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 and become a ginger. Praise the Lord. They continue to change because of English. It led us into giving up on time. Number two, it led to loss of control of inner mind, which led to upset and anger. When you see a man that is impatient, he is always made by time to be angry fast. Praise the Lord. Any small thing upset. Any small thing he got angry. So when the negative impact of impatience is it leads us to quick anger, especially when we lose our control. Number three, it led us into taking a wrong step and wrong decision. Many people are in a wrong path today. Many people are doing wrong today. Many people are taking wrong step and wrong decision. Why? Because of impatience. Some people, they go to church. When they come into Malaysia, they go to church. They pray one more, they pray two more. After that, nothing happened. They die. They began to call native doctor. Praise the Lord. Some also, they still say, they say, I like to go to church. And here, they see courage. Don't like what God told me just now. I know the person is here. Praise the Lord. I still go to church, but still have charm inside his house. Praise the Lord. He's still practicing witchcraft. And so a person will not prosper. <laughs> Even as God will do this, the person will feel to come out. You will still remain, you will remain. I'm not sure a cause, but it's a sign that you will still remain under the control of darkness. Because whenever God will do, God really wants to bless you. You see, that's why whenever God always pray every day that God will locate you. Each time God will locate you, it's not that somebody got located or whatever is bad. No, God will locate you in order to favor you. That location that God is locating you is a favor, is a blessing, great one and big one. Praise the Lord. But people do not understand when you review what the Spirit is revealing and let people know people are thinking that you are trying to embarrass them. No, it's not embarrassment. It's a way of promotion and a way of blessing and increase in your life. It means you have been dwelling in darkness for a long time, but God wants to deliver you and God wants to bless you and God wants to put light into your life. And always remember, every charm, anything that comes from darkness, will definitely take you into darkness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We definitely take you into where? Darkness. darkness. Light and darkness does not have anything eh, in common. They don't have anything in common. Whether you like it or not. Even though you are here, as long as you are holding darkness, no. You are just only coming to waste your time if you don't want to repent. Only the day you repent, that will be the day that the light comes. And the moment light begins to shine upon your life, you will begin to experience the real blessings. Whatever Satan gives is a counterfeit of what God has already done. But people don't know. The fact that you are using the charm and making money or making success or using charm to get a relationship or to hold men or to hold ladies and the rest, you think you are succeeding. No, you are destroying your life. Yeah. And you are destroying your destiny. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are destroying your destiny. Because that charm will bring repercussion. It ceases to come. But the Bible says, whatever a man sows is what he do. 
is working for you now does not mean that it will work for you forever. No. Every child has an expiring date. So, President, if you like, we knew it 100 million times. There's an expiring yes. and it can fail at any time. That's why robbers, they will, they will do a day here and the rest. You see? Far back years ago, a brother was giving a testimony. He said that whenever I went to do the business he do, I don't know the business he do, he called Baba. And that day, as he called Baba again, he do, he walk. Then the other day, he, he, before he do, he called Baba, Baba he said, yes, go, roll this way. And he, he, he go and roll this way. One day again, he called Baba, Baba said, yes, roll this way. You understand? After he entered, he rolled blood. <laughs> he called Baba again, he said, Baba, the road the block. He said the time when you call me road clear. Maybe after you drop it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. What am I trying to tell you? I'm trying to make you understand. Taking wrong step and wrong decision is too dangerous. And what led to that is impatience. For weariness anxiety, which kills our spirit daily. Impatience leads people to be worrying all the time. It troubles your mind all the time. Your mind, your heart becomes sick because of impatience. There are people here, you have no disease in your body, you are healthy, but the sickness you have is worriness. You worry too, too much. And the worriness is affecting your blood and rising your blood pressure. Imagine youth going to hospital, they say you have a high blood pressure. Number one, you have no mind. Two, you are still young. You don't have children. You are suffering and you have started having high blood pressure because of anxiety and too much of thinking. There are people when they wake up in that time, they are thinking money. In the night, they are thinking nothing they think of money. They worry so much and they worry because of what? Money. Hallelujah. Amen. Their life is full of worries. And what is leading to that is what impatience. Say impatience. impatience. Say impatience. impatience. Say impatience. impatience. Number five, it leads us into confusion. Many people are getting confused every day. They are being confused because of impatience. Number six, we withdraw prematurely from a happy situation. Especially those that God has assigned to help us. I want you to understand that if God is giving you a helper or sending you a helper, it needs patience for your helper to locate you. Because the blessings of God carry process. Hallelujah. You remember what Jesus used parable that you cannot carry old wine and put into old air new bottle or carry new wine and put it on one bottle there's no way because otherwise the new wine will not suit for the old bottle or the old bottle will stay in the new wine and the new wine will not test again praise the lord Hallelujah. why because of impatience because of impatience connection you have with people you disconnect prematurely. You run away because of impatience. People that God have assigned, go. The angel that God released said, go and help this person. Go and assist this person. But because you are impatient, you change all of them away. I pray from today, you will not chase away your head by yeah. your feet. I say you will not chase away your head by yeah. Say, Father, Father, I receive the spirit of patience. I receive the spirit of patience. From today, from today, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive.
receive this salvation. I receive this spirit of passion. I demand whatever that led you to be impatient. Whatever that made you to be impatient. Strike out every person in my life. He grows every part of my life. He the procession spirit into me. Pray, 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 pray. Oh God, you were inside me. Whatever that led you into impatient. From today. You will begin to go according to your times. Whatever that has led you to miss all your blessings, every impatient spirit that has led you lack of two persons. Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Lord, we look for a single You are the most single of all. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. You have to pray this prayer. We have less than seven days for this month to finish. What are you believing God for? Hallelujah. What are you believing God for? I want to begin to ask. The Bible says, ask, it shall be given unto you. What do you want God to do for you? Say, my father, my father, look at me with a miracle. In this seven days, look at me with a miracle. Look at that person.
harvest will not cease. Yeah. So shall it be. Yeah. So shall it be for your people. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Put a wonderful hands of the of Jesus. Hallelujah. You can do better than that. May God bless you all. to celebrate whatever that you supposed to receive I pray that you will have it all Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. whatever you are be expecting that is delayed I pray as you are living here you will begin to see them Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. and Lord I cover your children with the blood of Jesus the Lord surrounded Jerusalem with a wall of fire. The same way your houses, your family, wherever you go, you are surrounded by the wall of fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, I thank you for this one. That you are given the grace to serve here. The grace that you serve will swallow the bridges. The grace that you serve will fight for you. The grace your serve will speak for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I pray for abundance upon your life. Amen. You shall continue to experience abundance. Amen. Wherever you go, grace will cover you. Favor will cover you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for what you have done in the life today. Right. Every man and women here, every person here that you have taught, you have blessed, I declare the touch of God, the blessings of God, I declare them permanent upon your life. Amen. Devil will not take hold of you again. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. As we go, go with us. Amen. Stay with us. Amen. I cover your Monday, your Tuesday, Amen. your Wednesday, Amen. your Thursday, Amen. your Friday, Amen. your Saturday, Amen. your Sunday, with the Lord of Jesus. Amen. We fast, oh God, in this new week, Lord. It's a week of resting in the altar and the mountain of God. I pray as you fast and pray, every struggle, every problem in your life will end. It shall come to an end. It shall come to an end. It shall come to an end. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hands together for me. Surely. May God be with you in Jesus' name.